This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by the new mobile game Breaking Bad Criminal Elements. We've got the spoiler-free first reactions to Spider-Man Far From Home. Spider-Man Far From Home swings into theaters on July 2nd, and fans are all anxious to see how this final chapter of Phase 3 closes out the Marvel Cinematic Universe post Thanos' invasion, and more specifically, the broader effects of the unsnappening from Avengers Endgame. Luckily, a few fans and journalists had a chance to catch a press screening of The Wall Crawler's latest European vacation, and these same peeps took to social media to share their reactions online. We don't think it's a spoiler to say that the reactions are generally positive, but since none of us, and most likely you as well, if you are watching this, have yet to see the movie, we are going to make sure that these first reactions are as spoiler-free as possible. So don't worry about spoiling that rumor that Mysterio is Huh? Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. So without further ado, here is the good, the bad, and the ugly first reactions to Spider-Man Far From Home. Let's start off with the positive, and boy howdy was there a lot of positive. First of all, Nerdist bestie Maude Garrett succinctly said what was on a lot of people's minds with Spider-Man Far From Home is such a good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal suits up and completely embraces his role in its entirety, and he's clearly having a blast. This is such a refreshing film after the heaviness of Endgame. The post credit scenes are a must watch and will blow your your dang mind. <laughs> okay, calm down, Maude. It can't be that good, right? Let's just see what our other friend of the show, Koi Jandro, had to say. See this movie the moment you can. Pre-order tickets. Call out of work. Just go. There is a movie coming to theaters with Mysterio in it, folks. See Spider-Man Far From Home. Tom Holland is Spidey. All right, starting to notice a pattern here. Angie Han over at Mashable lauded the way the film ties a ribbon on phase three of the MCU. Spider-Man Far From Home is the coda we needed after Endgame, a glimpse of how the world looks now that the dust has settled. <laughs> dust. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go, sir, please. <laughs> Every damn time. Film and TV critic Kevin McCarthy had just about the highest praise possible for the sequel, saying, Far From Home has dethroned Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2 and his now favorite Spider-Man film. What's insane is that I can't even tell you why I'm so in love with this film, because it would be a spoiler. Gyllenhaal is incredible. Holland reconfirms as the best Spidey to date. Amazing. The love for the cast seemed to be a recurring theme throughout most of the reactions, with Zendaya's MJ and Jake Gyllenhaal getting an abundant amount of shout-outs. CNET's Sean Keen heaped on the praise with major kudos in particular to Jake Gyllenhaal for his super engaging performance as complex character Mysterio and Zendaya, who brings depth in her massively expanded role as MJ. While People Magazine's Carol Warner added, Spider-Man Far From Home, what a fun, solid sequel. Tom Holland is so incredibly charming, we'll watch him in any all things. Jake Gyllenhaal gets way more to do than expected, clearly had a ball doing it, also still loving Zendaya's MJ. We can definitely agree with Kara, and watching to watch Tom Holland in all things is definitely worth watching. Speaking of things to watch out for, many of the reviewers and fans hinted that there is much more going on in this flick than what you were initially seeing on the surface. The playlist Rodrigo Perez hints at this with his tweet, Spider-Man Far From Home, far superior to its predecessor and really delightful, with a terrific theme of trust well-threaded throughout. Could say more, but it's spoiler-laden, full of fun secrets, so be careful who you follow and what they say. Jake G is great. Of course, it can't be all great for the webhead. There were some criticisms from the critics who critiqued the film. <laughs> Slash Films' Ben Pearson put it this way, Spider-Man Far From Home, B minus C plus. If you loved the teen-centric stuff in Homecoming, there's more where that came from. Some of the comedy falls flat, but this film has a lot going on, ultimately beneficial because it mostly distracts from the stuff that doesn't land quite as well. To which we have to say, it is important that Spider-Man lands well and doesn't fall flat. You get it? Because he like swings a lot in the air? And if he fell, that would hurt? I cut that. Y'all y'all didn't like that? Fandoms managing editor Eric Goldman tweeted out some minor, minor criticism with Spider-Man Far From Home isn't quite as wonderful as Homecoming, but it's a really strong, endearing sequel that delivers some excellent moments in its second half in particular. It commendably furthers Peter's story while laying groundwork for what's next in a notably deft way. Okay. Are we really putting this reaction in in the bad column? Yeah, we gotta be struggling if that's the worst we can find. 
Okay, uh, look, we might have promised the bad, but if this is as bad as it gets, then the hype seems deserved. Again, nobody in this room right now has seen it, so we're waiting with bated breath for the film to drop on July 2nd, just like everyone else's. But what do you folks think? Are you excited for Spidey? What other villains do you hope pop up in the flick? And seriously, what do you think about Mysterio actually Oh, damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Let's discuss. Thanks again to Breaking Bad Criminal Elements, Break Bad with Walter White and Jesse Pinkman in the official mobile game based on the hit TV show. Dive into this high stakes world in which moral dilemmas are fundamental, volatile personalities abound, and profits must keep flowing. Work alongside iconic characters like Saul Goodman and Gus Fring as you build your base, develop your lab, and expand your territory. Download Breaking Bad Criminal Elements now on both Google Play and the App Store and become the one who knocks.